hi welcome my name is Ovedalko. welcome uh to this youtube channel uh please subscribe to this i'll tell your friends about it we share a lot on entrepreneurship on business on self-development on sales you know things like that taking charge of your life so today we want to uh, talk about our young women and some of the things that they can do uh, for themselves uh, a lot of the times we we, we we go through a lot of interviews and, uh, and mainly they are young women and uh, some of the things that we get to hear uh, some of them are coming from uh, families that don't have also a lot of them are also coming from families that are separated you know the father is somewhere the mother is somewhere and they have to do something for themselves sometimes you hear that they have they are going to libya or qatar, qatar or saudi arabia a lot of the times that's all the directions that they have and if they watch tv the things that we also tell them on tv you know so um, it's not that easy for a lot of our young women and sometimes even when they are going to look for work some of these guys would want to uh, sleep with them before they give them any offer sometimes it's not even those with SHS. sometimes the university people and nothing nobody does anything to these guys you know so uh, but if nobody does anything to them, uh, a lot of these young girls, if they are aware, if they are equipped, they can do something wherever they are. So, thank you, Marie. Um, so, what are some of the things that you think our young girls go through? And what are some of the things that you think that we can do uh, to at least create some kind of awareness? Okay, thank you. I think financially, they are not so strong. And so, they are forced to follow friends or do things that are not wise. So they, any old man who comes in with a car, with money, they are, it's so easy for them to follow, just to, to make sure they have something for themselves. Sometimes just clothing, or something that is not so much important, but because of what they have seen on TV, mm. or they have seen friends using on them, themselves, they mm. intend to follow the same kind of lifestyle in order to get those things for themselves okay so um sometimes too uh sometimes too they take uh boyfriends and uh they worry them with uh, send them mobile money <laughs> some of them some of them they even come they get the work but they don't focus on the work because mm -hmm. they think that some boy somewhere should take care of them yeah. um i think that most young girls should should be uh told that you are as competent as the boy and so take care of your finance stop asking stop calling boys and men to take care of you sometimes you're driving through town you see a very beautiful girl and she's stopping you for dropping i'm like do you know where the man is going you don't even know him you know and and if you're a woman you don't ask for those because anything they can do to you so a, a lot of the times i think that the, the a lot of our girls are too uh, nice over nice and I don't know if that is right. Um, I wouldn't say they are over nice or they are too nice. That it may seem that they are over nice or too nice, but it's, it's because of the information they, they have or have had mm. throughout their life. Mm. In our culture, as a woman or as a girl, not much is, is expected of you. Okay. You are to depend on your husband or, or a man. Mm. So most of the times, they unconsciously, they also t tend to ask, for help from men or follow men mm. as the normal thing that they have known because that's what they will end up yes. doing yeah i mean okay. the, the culture has made it so easy. so even at the workplace you see two people a man and a woman receiving the same salary but during lunch time you see the the women or or the girl asking for the man to pay okay. even though they have the same salary yeah it's become something because it's a woman yes if i'm a woman then a man must take care of yeah. me Richard. i think that maybe if you're married and you a man can take care of you that's fine but if you are independent uh, if you are single you should be tough-minded that I'm, a, I'm a, i should be independent until maybe i'm married and even if you marry a lot of the times when they marry is they still have to take care of themselves anyway so when you are waiting for a man uh, it becomes dangerous especially when you're asking when you meet any boy you're asking for anything send me money send me credit uh even when you are working you are not taking it seriously because you are waiting for a man or a lot of the time they're waiting for some rich man somewhere to come and marry them 
and the families also uh, a lot of the times push them mm. okay so what, what do you have to add I think as I said earlier I think information is key mm. most women don't think they have to be independent mm. their lifestyle is always asking asking mm. people even those that they are they are richer than mm. so they can even ask people that don't have money mm. as long as they they accept that they are they are women and, mm. and so they should keep on asking they will ask yeah. a man yeah. who has less money still for credit mm. for all kind of things okay so it's about women or girls believing in themselves that yeah. they are also important and yeah. they can take care of, take of care of themselves, themselves without necessarily depending on others yeah it's true because sometimes you even see this uh, graduate they still keep on asking come and take me to party uh, send me uh, let's go and eat at this place life is more